A new collaboration between Airbus and Renault is in the works to create next-generation batteries for electric vehicles and airplanes. The research and development partnership aims to accelerate the electrification roadmaps of both businesses. Their engineering teams will work collaboratively and improve energy storage technologies, which continue to be a major obstacle to the creation of long-range electric cars. But will this partnership actually help the EV industry? Let's find out. First off, what will this partnership cover? The partnership will involve innovations in battery weight and energy management technology. According to Airbus's statement, it planned to switch from existing cell chemistries, like the popularly used lithium-ion batteries, to all solid-state designs that might increase battery energy densities by 2030. The collaborative effort will also evaluate the overall lifetime of future batteries, from manufacturing to recycling, in order to to prepare for the industrialization of these future battery designs while assessing their carbon impact over the course of their entire life cycle. According to Gilles Leborn, the engineering EVP at Renault Group, aviation is an incredibly demanding area in terms of both safety and energy economy, and so is the car industry. Together with Airbus, Renault's technical teams are bringing up crossover technologies that will make it possible to fly hybrid air airplanes and create the cars of the future. Not to mention, both of these organizations are driven by cutting carbon emissions and bringing innovation to the world. It's high time for such developments, don't you think? The French automaker promised to invest billions of pounds in electric vehicles over the next five years, joining Nissan and Mitsubishi Motors in that ambition. Moving on, does this mean we'll get flying cars? Well, for starters, we already do have flying cars cars, but they're so noisy and expensive that they never became popular. Instead, the Renault Group and Airbus are working on developing electric technologies that might accelerate the production of car batteries and zero-emission planes. So hold off on your excitement because they aren't developing a flying electric car. In reality, the fact that the two companies have signed a research and development agreement focusing on energy management optimization and a fully electric future is far more exciting because their collaboration will benefit future generations when there's no more fossil fuel left in the world. The goal is to explore whether sharing important technological capabilities could accelerate the development of both Renault's electric vehicle technology and the upcoming hybrid electric aircraft from Airbus. Obviously, Airbus won't be entirely electric because batteries are very heavy, but it's the right step in lowering carbon emissions from commercial aircraft. Let's talk more about aircraft decarbonization. Guillaume Fari stated during a briefing about the European manufacturer's efforts to reduce emissions that he was concerned about the rate of investment in facilities to produce green hydrogen and sustainable aviation fuel due to the fact that battery technology is still in development and can't power planes unless they're for very short flights. The aviation sector is proving to be one of the industries to decarbonize. This is the main reason why Airbus decided to collaborate with Renault in the first place, to at least start doing something about it and work on new technology together. One potential option is green hydrogen, which is created from water using zero carbon electricity, SAF, which is created from plant sources or utilizing carbon from the air, can be utilized in existing gas turbine engines without increasing the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. While Fari acknowledged that the shortage of environmentally friendly hydrogen production could be a cause for delaying the launch of the program, Airbus has stated its intention to fly zero-emission hydrogen aircraft in commercial service by 2035. He openly stated that he has serious concerns about the availability, or lack thereof, of clean hydrogen in the right quantity, in the right area, and at the right price in the second part of the decade. His concern is understandable because green hydrogen production and distribution infrastructure are still in the early phases of development. But time is running out for it to be ready to power commercial aircraft by the 2030s and for applications in many other industries. Next up, is Airbus the only company on hydrogen development? Many companies are working to develop hydrogen technology. Even the airline e 
EasyJet and the British engineering firm Rolls-Royce announced that the first ground testing of an aircraft engine powered by hydrogen combustion had begun. In fact, Airbus is collaborating with the American company GE and the French engine maker Safran to build a hydrogen combustion engine on an A380 Super Jumbo already. Although Airbus's main rival Boeing is more focused on sustainable aviation fuel, they're still taking some steps in testing hydrogen as a power source. So, no, Airbus isn't the only one. Meanwhile, Airbus said that it's already in the final stages of developing a hydrogen fuel cell powered aircraft engine, which emits only water as waste while it produces energy and is expected to begin flight testing in or around 2026. The propeller engine could be able to propel a 100 passenger airplane with a 1,000 nautical mile range, according to the manufacturer, although it's unlikely that it would ever be used for these kinds of flights due to the amount of hydrogen storage that would be needed. But you never know. If anybody can figure it out, it's probably Airbus. There's no question that every manufacturer, especially in the car industry, is moving towards a future free from carbon emissions. And of course, Toyota being the pioneer of hybrid technology is no different with their own plans that also involve an electric aircraft and hydrogen R and D. Let's talk about Toyota's plans. Toyota's president, Akio Toyota, says that we need to cut CO2 emissions as much as possible as soon as possible. This doesn't mean that we should focus on electric power alone. That's why, like Airbus, Toyota wants to focus on hydrogen power, which could even be used for flying cars. More on this later. According to Akio Toyota, the business would spend $30.5 billion on EVs by the end of the decade, including money to create next-generation batteries, with a similar amount going into hybrid, hydrogen, and other powertrains. The BZ4X, the company's first completely electric vehicle, marked the beginning of the Beyond Zero effort. Despite being Toyota's first electric car, the electric motor, inverter, gearing, and batteries were created. You'd Utilizing decades of hybrid knowledge, the Toyota EV seems to be a tall riding midsize crossover with a design that's reminiscent of the Prius Hybrid and Mirai hydrogen powered vehicles. But Toyota's ambitions don't stop there because there's one particular area they're working on that nobody would have guessed. Now for Project Sky Drive. Greetings from Project Sky Drive. With Toyota's financial assistance, a Japanese startup has already tested a flying car with great results, and the business plans to sell the car to consumers by the end of 2023. According to SkyDrive, the piloted SD-03 prototype took off from a net enclosed region in Japan and circled for almost four minutes before making a safe landing. Chief Technology Officer Nobio Kishi stated that SkyDrive intends to commercialize the vehicle in 2023 and that it will be the smallest manned EV in the world that can fly like a drone. If that happens, they could probably put Airbus and Boeing out of business because people won't need to buy tickets anymore. Moving on, what will this vehicle look like? The SkyDrive flying EV is nothing like the future TV programs and movies that serve as the inspiration for most contemporary ideas. The SkyDrive aircraft is roughly the same size as two parked SUVs at 13 feet feet wide and six and a half feet tall. Eight electric motors are used to move the SD-03, which also has two front lights, two sets of rotors, and a red light that surrounds the bottom of the vehicle. Even if the technology is exciting, the big challenge for SkyDrive and other businesses exploring it is figuring out how to power such aircraft for lengthy journeys if they're meant to be used commercially, as taxis, for instance. One of the most challenging problems that businesses are dealing with is the development of better, lighter batteries that enable these gadgets to fly farther and longer. In addition to Slovenia's Aeromobile, Israel's Tactical Robotics, and California's Hover Surf, which have all been experimenting with a flying taxi, SkyDrive joins a small group of multinational companies working on flying vehicles with intentions to introduce Uber Air. In the early part of 2023, Uber, which is usually preferred as a mode of
of Transportation has also been testing flying taxis. But will it actually happen? Finally, will flying EVs replace commercial aircraft? It's hardly surprising that companies are funding the development of flying electric vehicle prototypes because experts forecast that the market for personal air transportation will reach $1 trillion by 2040, which means it could overpower Boeing and Airbus. Unfortunately, since SkyDrive is the only company with a prototype that can actually be flown with a pilot over Toyota's test region, and because they're the only one with a Titan like Toyota backing them, their development appears to be the most promising. Toyota has previously said that this two-seat commercial flying aircraft will be available by 2023, which puts us very close to having air taxis. This also lines up with Tokyo's plans to develop flying taxis within the next five years. In theory, this could be a better alternative for intercity travel, while commercial aircraft would still be used for longer journeys. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content just like this.